well, one thing that we really noticed sort of going into the film, I didn't even really think about it while I was writing, but uh, there's very few to no films uh, about pregnancy told from the female perspective. Um, all of the kind of mega popular ones, like uh, Knocked Up or Nine Months or She's Having a Baby, are all told from the male perspective. And it's usually um, a man sort of saying, oh, my wife's crazy. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, it's kind of um, true. And it's, it's, true. it's really rare yeah. to see a movie told from a woman's perspective as she's going through pregnancy. So I thought that was really unique, strangely unique. Yeah, you know what? It's so true. I feel like whenever whenever people like learn that you're pregnant, it's like there's like a handful of things that are always asked, like, "What are you craving?" <laughs> yeah. Like, are you like super crazy? Are your hor- hormones out of control? And like, h- how big are your ankle? Like, there's like there's these like so these questions that I think have been formed from all these movies and these comedic bits in these movies and we have them in this one a little right, bit right because they are real things but but yeah i think that you know chris did an amazing job writing and directing this movie where it was a more grounded realistic version of pregnancy and mm-hmm. of the 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 things that a woman has to go through not just physically but emotionally as well mm-hmm. Well, I think that at some times it was to our a benefit. Um, I feel like the money we saved on like a prosthetic belly, for me, went straight to our craft service, uh, <laughs> which was you know our crew loved that. Um, but you know, was we this is a, this is an, 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 an this is an independent film, so you know in the morning I would be you know one week pregnant and then right. by the afternoon I was six months and at the end of the day was back to three months and so yeah. you know luckily we had an amazing wardrobe team and um, we were able to sort of add girth that's a word you don't get right, to use right. very often and take away and uh, and sort of do do that sort of size dance and um, and and sometimes the, the belly helped and sometimes it didn't it always helped me portraying somebody who was tired <laughs> <laughs> No. And didn't know how to speak. <laughs> no, not true. Well, I've been a fan of hers for a long time. In fact, one of the things that um, Chris told me to watch was she's having a baby to to watch Elizabeth in that film because she's so good. Um, I'm also a huge uh, Downton Abbey fan and uh, and love her in in that. And um, you know, on the day working with her, I mean, she. She was sort of given, um, I think, quite a challenging character because this is a mom that can come across very unlikable. And she just, she portrayed this woman with such sincerity and, um, you know, she was just so raw about it that you, you sort of understood her perspective, although maybe didn't agree with it at, at times or thought it, you know, thinking it was a little bit severe. But you kind of understood where she was coming from, and I think that it's because of her abilities that you sort of related to this mother, this mother of mothers, of this new mother, and and kind of saw her, you know, her disappointment in the situation. 